Hello world, it's your boy J Lemon Fit. I am back with yet another video and now it is time to show you how to get a bigger chest with push-ups. Let's go! First things first, family, you must understand that in order to build bigger muscles, you must be implementing the principle of progressive overload. I've said this in my last video, Tyrone's response on 20 push-ups a day, and I'll say it again. Progressive overload, number one most important principle when it comes to building more muscle. And it's the number one most important principle in life, man. We're going to progress and advance. So you need to be implementing that. All right, you got that assimilated? Let's move on. All right, many of you may or may not know how to do a push-up, so I'm gonna explain it to you. In lamest terms, the push-up is a body weight exercise that works your shoulders, your triceps, and your chest muscles, okay? Body weight exercise works the shoulders, triceps, and chest. This is how you perform a basic push-up. All you have to do, bring the hands on the floor, feet on the floor. Those are the only two parts of your body that should be on the floor, the hands and the feet. Everything else should be elevated. Boom, keep a straight back. You don't want your back tucked in. You don't want your back all the way out here. Straight back. Next, you're gonna bend your elbows, come down to where your chest is about a few inches from the floor, and come back up. Bend the elbows, come back up. Now, if you can't do those, you gotta go down to girl push-ups. Girl push-ups are gonna be bent knees. Bent knees, hands on the floor, knees on the floor. So instead of the next version, it's gonna be hands on the floor, knees on the floor, girl push-ups. If there's girls out there watching this video, or if you guys have girlfriends, mothers, anybody you know, who are interested in losing that tricep fat, you don't want that hanging arm phenomenon, recommend push-ups to them. Show them this video and the basic girl push up so that they can be working towards improving and getting rid of that flab on your arms. All right, so if you came to the regular push-up, do the girl push-ups. Anyways, let's move on, okay? Like I said, progressive overload, which means that you add some type of overload, some type of tension, some type of stronger stimulus to your muscles, okay? Now our goal is 12 to 15 reps. If we can do more than 12 to 15, we're not working the right muscle fibers to stimulate growth in our muscles. We have three types of muscle fibers and you have to utilize the upper threshold muscle fibers. I'll make a video down in the future, but I wanna keep it simple to you guys. We have three types of muscle fibers. You have to stimulate the upper threshold ones in order to spark growth. The other two aren't too responsible for that physical growth of your muscles, okay? So in order to stimulate that upper threshold muscle fiber, you have to be putting enough tension on your muscles so that it has to recruit that muscle fiber. And enough tension means enough weight or exercise difficulty, and that's predicated on the principle of progressive overload, all right? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do 12 to 15 basic standard push-ups. All right, get into position. Shoulder width, slightly outside your shoulder width, or shoulder width, whatever's comfortable for you. Remember, hands and the feet up. Back straight, going for 12 to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. As you can see, I can easily get 15 reps. Basic push-ups are a very easy exercise for me. Therefore, I'm not gonna waste my time on them every day because I'm not stimulating the right muscle fibers to produce growth. Remember what I said, in order to stimulate those muscle fibers, you have to be having enough tension on your body. And you can see how much tension on your body is by seeing how much reps you can do. And if you're doing more than 15 reps, that means that you're not stimulating those right muscle fibers. Got it? Hope I made it as simple as possible. All right, so as you can see in the push-ups, I was able to do 15 easy, too easy. So I'm not stimulating those right muscle fibers because I'm not struggling. I should also be struggling with the weight or with the exercise um, as I go up in repetitions. If you're not struggling with the given rep range, then that clearly means that you're not stimulating those right muscle fibers, no matter how many reps you do. All right. As you can see, I was able to hit an easy 12 to 15 reps with no struggle at all. 
And like I said, you have to be struggling a bit on those last few reps in order to know that you're recruiting those upper threshold muscle fibers, which are responsible for growth. If you're not struggling on the last couple reps, you're not recruiting those muscle fibers. That's a clear indicator that you're not recruiting those muscle fibers. Therefore, I have to implement the principle of progressive overload. And uh, the simplest components of implementation of progressive overload is gonna be either A, add more weight, or B, make the exercise slightly harder, okay? I'm gonna show you both A and B. So I have a 10 pound plate here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this plate on my back, and this is gonna add more tension, more resistance to my body, and depending on my strength level, it may require me to recruit those upper threshold muscle fibers which are responsible for making my muscles bigger and stronger. So I'm gonna go for another 12 to 15 repetitions here. All right, let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. As you can see, I was able to get an easy Easy peasy, geez Luigi, 12 to 15 reps. Therefore, that's not enough weight for me, but it might be enough weight for some of you guys. So like I said, progression. Start off with the basic push-up. If those are too easy, add some weight to your back. Start off with 10 pounds. Work you up to 12 to 15. Once that gets easy, add more weight, go up to 25. Once that gets easy, go up to 45. I'm gonna show you guys a set of me doing push-ups with 45 pounds on my back. Got a 45 pound plate. Now, a lot of you guys may not be able to do this, but like I said, I've been implementing the principle of progressive overload since pretty much I started working out because I've learned that this is the most important principle to muscle building. So, this is how you deal with push-ups. Add more weight, okay? If you can't do 45, start off with your body weight, work your way up to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, and keep progressing. Go. Progressive overload, very simple, man. My little proton. You don't know my little proton? Look it up. All right, going for 12 to 15. Let's go. I'm starting to struggle more and more. I got 15, but I'm struggling more. That means that my body's starting to recruit those upper threshold muscle fibers which are responsible for growth. And that's all there is to it, guys. You wanna add more weight, add more tension to your body, which is predicated upon the principle of progressive overload. But a lot of people may not have weight, so I'm gonna show you how to do it without weight. Keep watching the video. All right, guys, so it's time to show you option number B on using progressive overload to get a bigger chest with push-ups. Remember, option number A was add more weight. A lot of people don't have more weight. So option number B is gonna be make the exercise harder. So what we did was a standard push-up, shoulder width apart. It's a very standard push-up. But now we're gonna do diamond push-ups. And diamond push-ups, only difference is you're going from a standard grip to a diamond shape, shaped like a diamond. They're gonna target your triceps a little bit more, but the overall exercise is gonna be harder, therefore, all muscle groups have to work harder. Therefore, you're pretty much gonna be implementing that progressive overload principle, which is gonna allow you to get a bigger chest because you're not gonna be able to do as much reps. And remember what I said, reps and difficulty, you struggling is gonna be an indicator of you using those fibers which are responsible for growth. Check it out. Only difference is you're going from a standard shoulder grip, come in, make the exercise difficult, progressive overload. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. As you can see, that was much tougher than a regular push-up. Ooh, I'm sweating out here, man. It's hot in New York City right now. Anyways, that was much tougher than a regular push-up, which is good. That means that I'm utilizing upper threshold muscle fibers. And you can also add weight to that too, so you can incorporate both option A and B to getting a bigger chest with push-ups, all right? So that's the next progression. The first progression was the standard. Actually, the first progression was the girl push-up. If you can do that, go to the standard regular push-up. If you can do that, we want to diamond push-ups. If you can do that, incline push-ups. Incline push-ups are gonna be a harder variation of the push-ups, and like I said, make the exercise more difficult, make the exercise more harder, or add more weight. Exercise more harder, add more weight, add more weight, make the exercise more harder, okay? Vice versa. So this is it with body weight, incline, push-ups. Same concept, hands should be on the floor, feet is gonna be in an upright position, making the exercise tougher so that we can incorporate upper threshold fibers to get bigger muscles. Boom, boom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah. As you can see, that exercise was a bit easy for me, so I will have to add more weight to it. So, the first progression was the girl push-ups. Second progression, regular shoulder width push-ups. Third progression was the diamond push-ups, close grip. Fourth progression, incline push-ups. Once you're able to do 15 incline push-ups, I highly recommend you find weight to add to your back. You can add your sister, your brother, or your girlfriend, anybody who's light. Ask them, hey, can you get on my back for a little bit? I just wanna do some push-ups. They're gonna say why. And explain to them why. You learned why you need to be going heavier because you gotta implement the principle of progressive overload. So make the exercise harder or add more weight. That's how you get a bigger chest with push-ups. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, man. I'm providing so much content, legitimate information, man. I hope you subscribe. I hope you subscribed. Peace.